Hello Kahlo Nation, this is Alex with TransWest Trucks in Colorado. We have a beautiful weather today, it's quiet out, perfect time to do a video. The purpose of this video is to show you some technological advances and changes that LOR is putting in place, which will translate into less maintenance, uh, less downtime, uh, basically uh, faster uh, repairs when needed, um, what makes this trailer lightweight in spite of having a thicker steel uh, and then also a quick um, point on how those trailers are meant to be loaded uh, what is a main advantage to it so let's start uh, without any delays I'm going to start with their ratchets so let's go uh, right here So as you can see uh, Their ratchets are galvanized steel so um, The advantage of galvanized steel it's chemically it cannot rust So you won't have any rust issue with the ratchets uh, You got two choices if you have a ratchet that locks up for any reason or fails uh, You can either replace it in which case You would hammer out this push pin right here and then slide it out and replace it with a new one uh, if you have a spare in the cab or you can call trans west and we'll ship you one in 24 hours uh, next day basically or you can rebuild it so let's say you have another area where you're not using the ratchet and you want to take it out you can unbolt this ratchet rebuild it with another one or keep a spare that you can use just to rebuild it um, just in case the shaft of the ratchet is not exactly the same size right you don't want to keep 10 different spares uh, so you can really do it yourself it's really easy also you'll notice the shaft is square so that helps a lot with the uh, with the straps and how the straps are tightened and then you could also use a wrench uh, because it's square if you uh, wrap your straps too tight and then it bangs against this you could uh, actually use a wrench, you know, easily to unbind it. Um, that's for the ratchets. Uh, I think that's a, a really nice improvement uh, over most of what's out there. Uh, big key, of course, is parts availability, and that's where TransWest and Lore uh, make sure we have plenty of stock. Uh, next part that is really great is all your lifting arms. So all your lifting arms are galvanized steel. So same thing. The advantage with that it's it will not rust. You can also see they are super thick, um, and uh, you don't need to slip plate them. So that's really nice uh, because what's happening is when you slip plate them, if you don't keep up on slip plating, of course it's harder to slip plate the part of the tube that is in here. You don't keep up on it it scrapes off, then the tube rusts, uh, and then it starts deteriorating. Uh, eventually, you'll have to contact, find a welder, weld off this pin, weld off that pin, then uh, weld the new, the new uh, post on, and then find a painter. Uh, usually they just spray can it, so it's never gonna be really good for, for color and for the quality of the paint. You don't have to do this with the lower system. So literally, you could change these posts in a few hours. All you have to do is unbolt this bolt, which holds this pin in place. Same thing down here. Have a TransWest or Lore send you a replacement and you're done. Uh, you don't have to find a, any specific shop. If you have a shop that's uh, by your home or a shop that's by where you broke, uh, broke down, uh, you can have that shop do that. Uh, anybody with wrenches is able to do that. Uh, so that's also a big advantage. Um, I wanted also to go over the build. Um, how can we get this truck lighter than our competitors um, with about the same features um, and uh, have thicker steel? You see, this is quarter inch steel right here. Um, and the way we do that is we use sheet metal. You see how this is one piece of sheet metal that has been cut and bent. Uh, to purpose, right? To purpose of that angle. Uh, so the reason we do that, it's a little bit more expensive than tube. Um, it's for two reasons. One, it's stronger. Uh, second, I think it looks better. But third also, tube steel is heavy. So it adds weight to your truck and it also traps humidity. 
So the problem with tube steel, it rusts from the inside, even if your paint keeps its integrity. So we don't have this problem as there is nowhere for the water to be trapped in any of that. Uh, another nice part is how we route our hydraulic lines. lines so you see this uh, stainless steel, steel tube is a hydraulic line. We don't route it inside the post. Uh, this actually is one of the few tubes that we have. So the bottom post here and the upper post here, nothing is routed on the inside, so we can seal it really nice and tight. We just have like little holes on the bottom, so uh, condensation and everything can, can leave it. Uh, but it prevents any of the mag chloride and all the nasty stuff and salt to get in there and rust it from the inside. Um, not routing a hydraulic hoses inside is also great because if you have a hydraulic leak, uh, you don't have to pull out 30 foot, uh, 30 feet of hydraulic line to see where your your leak is, right? So it's easy to find if anything happens there, and you can either uh, find a welder who can fix that stainless steel weld on it, or uh, just replace the whole piece, right? Uh, also, right down here, you have your electric lines that are right outside. What happens when you route electric lines inside the posts is eventually they shave, especially if you have a post that rusts. Uh, now you have plenty of uh, sharp edges uh, to work on that uh, rubber housing of your electric hose. And then eventually you'll create a ground, you'll have some issues with your lights and you don't know where it's at. Same, you gotta chase it through the entire length of the frame rail. No longer, so Lore has everything outside, including your hydraulic line, your air lines. Uh, nicely tagged instead of like you know running loose into the post it's all zip tied nicely where it's not moving uh, I think that's a major improvement as well stainless steel is everywhere where you usually see heavy rusts right where all that road grime uh, gets to go even have uh, pardon me this is galvanized steel stainless steel right here and then uh, another example this tube over here is not tube, right? So this is a C channel. So if you go under there, you can see that it's uh, it's hollow. So it's got the strength of the structure of the C channel, but uh, it also does not retain water. Um, so that's uh, beautiful features. One last one that I think is great is all your lights. So these lights over here uh, are by truck lights. So you can find them everywhere, right? So these are very, very common lights that you can get to any truck stop. So you no longer need to contact the manufacturer uh, to get uh, uh, tail lights, you know. It's easy, you can go in any truck stop and, and buy them right there. All right, that's for some of the uh, improvements that I think that are great as far as the quality and the thought process behind the build. Uh, now something that is really cool on those Evo 80 is how they load, right? So here's your front right there, pretty classic, pretty standard. Same governor's steel on the number one. And then uh, no need to slip light anything ever. And then here you got your double two, that's cambered. Uh, by the way, you got those cool LED light bars all over that light downwards outside the trailer. So if you're in a dim lit parking lot, you know, some dealership or some dark places in the back you can actually see where you're driving by flicking those light on from the inside the cab now this is pretty cool so this truck is what we call a bottom loader and uh laura is doing this to give you the option basically to load the top go right there and you get all your cars nice and situated on the top then you lift this whole deck right here and then you load the bottom so instead of doing with the top loaders load the top then load the bottom here and then load the top and then load the bottom which is a lot of movements just load the top raise this thing out of the way and then load your bottom and you can obviously offload the car behind the truck right here you have this beautiful access over here uh, i have it here or extend it for you uh, so it's nice and flat and then same down here all the way. So that can save you a lot of time, especially if you're doing POV or uh, you know just multiple drops and pickups. Uh, it's nice to have this uh, flexibility. So as a result, you need to be aware that you need to load your trailer as far aft as possible. 
So most of you guys are gonna run your car and park it as close as you can to the front of this trailer. Um, this setup, you can't do that because in order to do the jump, uh, we have a really long deck here, 200 inches behind the cab. And then uh, this extension here, which is st structural all the way to here. These are not structural, this is just a jump skid. Uh, protrudes quite far back, right? Compared to the kingpin of the trailer. The tongue is really long, so that helps you with your turns, but it means that you're not gonna put your car right here. You're gonna put your car in the drop pocket here. And you'll be like, Alex, I'm losing like six feet over here. I said, you're not. You're basically losing three feet back here and gaining six feet over there. So the way Lore wants you to load this truck, this trailer, is take full advantage of your six foot overhang. So you see this deck that sits nice and flat over here. This is where you put your SUV or this is where you'll put your pickup truck. You're not gonna put anything in the wheel well over here, right? So all this, all this area from here all the way here, that's additional room you have in the belly for the two cars in front of it. You're gonna put a F-150 Super Crew Cab, five foot five bed right here with that where that little pin is, right? Right here. Basically on uh, on those on those uh, flippers right here. Obviously you're gonna raise it so you don't damage the spoiler. And then you're gonna extend this far enough so you can accommodate your wheelbase, whatever that is, 160 inches or so, 154 I think. And then you'll have a six foot overhang. Uh, and that's how you're gonna load that thing. So you're taking full advantage of this space now you got all this space available to put your cars over here and you're leaving plenty of space away from the jump skids so you're able to have three advantages one you have a long deck over here we can load pretty much anything second your split on your trailer is further back further toward the middle of your rig so the more the split is in the middle of the rig the tighter the turn you can make all right uh, it's just like it's easier to turn with a stinger than it is with a high mount, right? For the exact same reason. So you split the further in the middle, the better you'll turn. And then you have the ability on top of that to bottom load this trailer. So three pretty cool advantages that you have with Lore. And uh, that's why we love this trailer. Thanks for listening to this. And I hope to hear back from you soon. It's Alex with TransWest. And our phone number here is 303-301-7400. Thank you. Have a great day.